Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was a promo for our, as I said, in three weeks, uh, our first CPV redemption. Uh, we don't really, have, we don't have any matches planned out for yet, but I'm sure by the end of uh, the next, by the, by like the end of this episode, the next kind of got one set up now, but we're not, we're not sure we're going to be in a set of goal foundation, but as, uh, if you didn't understand it, because he talked pretty fast, our general manager, uh, general manager, Microsoft Sam said that later tonight there's going to be qualifying matches, and the winner of both the singles matches, because they are, will be tag team partners next week to face Team 2D, and Arden, uh, Face next week, whoever wins next week's match between Clown and Pound and Team 2D, and whoever wins that match between uh, Team 2D or Clown and Pound and those two people will go on to face uh, both for the Bullet Foundation Ball and Rose Red at uh, Redemption. So that's pretty much the only match we have so far for Redemption. But sorry for it, completely not even paying attention to Tilo who just came out. He's from our first season. As you all remember, a rich bastard. And here comes the man. As, many, as, as, as he likes to call himself, his initials are God, G-O-D, Gabriel Davis. Here he comes. This is his debut, first time wrestling. Oh, 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 this man is a five-time Olympic gold swimming champion. Pretty impressive. Uh, as you can see behind him, his swimming coach, Coach Weymouth, that, that man does not leave Gabriel's and Saber Davis' side. He's there all the time for him, he's there all the way, and uh, as I've heard, Gabriel Davis has never taken off that medal. That's, that's his most favorite now. The other ones are so good. That was his first. So he's never taken that goal, that goal medal off the wall stand. That's what I've heard. As we, as we have established, he's Last season, uh, T. Will and Croc had a big, pretty big rivalry up uh, past uh, Monstrous Mayhem in our last CPVs. But, uh, I'm pretty, I'm, it's obvious that that rivalry's not going on anymore because the Croc is focused on uh, Bullet. That's what we're facing him later tonight in our main event because Bullet earlier came out tonight and was saying that the Bullet Foundation will soon hold every single title in this show, including the uh, Interrupt title, which the Croc is holding right now. The Croc didn't want to listen to that and came up to a Bullet that. Thinks he's, uh, thinks he's hot shit, he's going to face him in the main event. And I'm back onto this match, we got Tila going on top of it. Ah! This is a drop kick off the top rope, my god! Now he's going, he's got to cover. One, two, ah! Oh, but Gabriel's kicks, Gabriel's and Davis kicks out. On oh, a clothesline there from Gabriel's and Davis. He seems to be doing pretty good so far in the, in the ring. Oh, Bulldog right there. To see, uh... Coach Raymouth on the outside of the ring cheering him on. Another elbow. Jeez. As you can see, he's mostly controlling Tilo on the ground. I've, I've been trying to keep Tilo on the ground as much as possible. Just stomping on him, working on him on the ground. Hasn't been doing much stand up here. What is this? Oh! Like I said, it's keeping him on the ground. Jesus. What a cocky bastard. Jesus, how many cocky bastards in this league? Oh! Arm drag right there from Tilo. It's obviously not going to help him, help him while he's swimming since he uses his, he has to move his arms in a rotating motion. If his, if his shoulders hurt, that's, that's not going to help him very much. Jesus. Russell Davis is back up. Oh, first right there. He's just laying in the, laying in the, 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 the 
box. Punches. Right where it comes. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even gonna go there. Jesus, an elbow off the top rope from Gabriel Davis, my god! More elbows, god. It's <laughs> enough of the elbows. First right there from Tilo. Going out here in a spiffed up nice purple suit. Not even in wrestling attire, like uh, Gabriel Davis is over there. He's got his uh, American, f American flag on the back of his ass. So far, on this impressive suplex right there. I don't even know what that is. A suplex like a spinning thing. I don't know what that is. Now, Tilo's hoping to get the count right here, but Gabriel Wilson Davis is right back up. And Tilo's in the ring, uh, taunting. And he's going to it from behind. Ah! Slams his neck right on top of the rope. Oh my god. Now he's back in the ring. DDT right there from Gabriel Wilson Davis. Here we go with the taunting gun. Oh my god, would you just wrestle him? Jesus. Gee, <laughs> off. And he's kicking him again, keep him on the ground. Pretty much his strategy this that he's been using so far. He's one of those suplexes. His movesets are pretty similar. God, turn it suplex. Going for a third. Gah! Three German suplexes right there from Gabriel Olsen Davis. Now he's picking him back up. Oh, back foot. What is this? Olsen slam. Gah! Olsen slam right on the Tilo. This has got to be over. He's got the cover. One, two. Gah! Gabriel Olsen Davis wins his first match. Let's look at some of the replays from that match. What is this? This was a. Here it is right here. What is this? Here's one of those suplexes that both of those guys were doing most of the match. And there's the, the German suplexes. They'll set him up later into uh, putting him into that pretty deadly Olsen slam at the end of this match. Here it is right here. Oh my God. What an Olsen slam right there for Gabriel Davis. And there he got the cover at the end. One, two, and the three. Oh my God. That was quite a match right there. Gabriel Olsen Davis definitely proved himself to be good at a uh, good in-ring wrestler. Oh my god. King and Lola, get out of here. Jesus Christ, get off my shoulder. So damn hurt. His stomach, he didn't even get hit that badly in that match. He didn't get hit. Tilo didn't do much to him. I mean, was, oh, wait a minute. Here we are backstage. What is this? Javon Williams and Blake Miller looking to get a soda over there. Ah! What the hell? No! Oh, my God. Javon Williams was going after him with the chair when he was going to get a soda. I was just randomly attacking Blake Miller backstage. Oh, what is this? Ah! My God! Throws him into the damn soda machine. Now he's taunting him, kicking the hell out of him. What the hell is the purpose of this? Oh my god. He's coming after the title, my god. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a we have one of those qualifying matches, the skunk versus manhole.